know what your brothers and sisters are being massacred and you yourself are absolutely silent. Are you afraid you're gonna lose your wealth? Are you afraid you're gonna lose money? So guys, if you are somebody who trains like me when I'm doing boxing, when I'm jogging, when I'm doing bodybuilding, this can benefit you. It's Shilajit from Nature's Blends. As you guys know, I get my honey, my black seed oil, and many other supplements from them. It has 86 plus minerals, including zinc, magnesium, selenium, fulvic acid, 59%, fully lab tested, the highest in the market. Boost testosterone levels, boost energy levels, and safe for men and women. So check out Nature's Blends in the description box and enjoy it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh brothers and sisters and dear friends I'm in front of the Kaaba as you can see behind me and this is a message to DJ Khalid Why am I giving this message to him? Because he's been absolutely silent when it comes to the issue of the Palestinian plight and what they're going through and he himself is a Palestinian himself here in this very place, brothers and sisters, a treaty called Hilf al-Fudul happened. What is Fudul, brothers and sisters? We will come to inshallah. So what happened is there was a man from Yemen who came here to do some business and he sold some items to one of the Quraysh and they refused to give him his money. And he came the next day and he was delayed and delayed to the point where he realized that he was not going to be paid. So what he did is came to this place and shouted and screamed and said, who is going to stand up for me? Indeed, I have been oppressed and I've been wrong. And subhanAllah, the, the Prophet and the Quraysh, when they came together and they decided that no one is ever going to oppress anyone for that matter ever again. And this is before the Quran ayah came. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that speak for justice and truth, even if it's against your own selves. And they did the treaty where they dipped their hands in perfume and went to the Kaaba behind me, as you can see, and put their hands there, sign of a contract. They were signing a contract that we will never let anyone be oppressed again. Because that man was oppressed and he shouted and he said, how could you guys be the ones who are taking care of the haram of this place? And you are in ihram and you are in doing Hajj or Umrah for that matter and you are oppressing. So therefore, why am I mentioning this story? Hilful Fudul, what does Fudul mean? If I'm not mistaken, it means that the person who was involved in not giving that Yemeni man his money, he was saying that this is none of your business. That's what Fudul means, if I'm not mistaken. And he was saying that, why are you guys getting involved? Why am I mentioning this? Because it reminds me of the same thing it's as if DJ Khalid is saying, it's none of our business. Why are you even talking about it? Why are we even talking about it? How could you as a Palestinian know what your brothers and sisters are being massacred and you yourself are absolutely silent? Are you afraid you're gonna lose your wealth? Are you afraid you're gonna lose money? Are you afraid you're gonna have all the glamorous things taken away from you? You, my friend, are a coward. I'll tell you to stand in front of here and I swear upon the rub of the Kaaba behind me that you are a shameless man. Shame on you. You are too busy with the wealth and the worldly life and Allah will take that away from you. This is a test. You have not said a single word. How could you live knowing those kids are being blown into pieces and you are a coward. You are a coward. I'm not going to say anything more because I'm in a holy place and I don't want to say no, but all I'm going to say is DJ Khaled, shame on you. You are a shameless man. Get a backbone. Don't be afraid of losing the wealth because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, these the wealth that you have is not going to benefit you in the hereafter. And Hilful Fudul is a fine example. Just as a man who oppressed that Yemeni man who said this is none of your business. And indeed they said this is our business and that's why we're making this treaty. The same to you. It reminds me of you because you are saying this is none of our business because you have got your comfy life. And wallahi on your maqiyama, you are going to be asked. That's all I'm going to say inshallah. And we make dua that our brothers and sisters in Palestine, they are free from the oppression they're going through with this occupied apartheid state and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring an end to this Zionist government. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.